everybody. Good morning. This is Sunday and we are looking at the build series on the XSR. It's not a build series, it's just some personalization. We've been looking at me installing the rectifier guard, removing the passenger pegs, and what else did I do yesterday? Oh yeah, it was the exhaust. Um, so today we're going to put a few more bits and bobs on the bike. Uh, I have still the chain guard right there, the side radiator protectors, the radiator grill or a guard, and that's the tail tidy that's coming later because it's a lot more difficult. And what we're going to do right now in this video is assembling the small screen, the fly screen uh, that will go on the bike like this. So it will be a little screen. Uh, I think it looks cool. And so that's what I'm going to install today. Uh, I hope you like. Let's see how it goes. I don't expect it to be very difficult. I think it's just a few bolts and some kind of support brackets or something like that. I haven't read the instruction, even looked at the parts. But we'll figure it out. Here's the rest of the kit. It comes with some nuts and bolts, as usual. There's some big metal things here. So I need to open this somehow. Oh my god! I need to disassemble <laughs> the whole lighting setup. Jesus, look at that! Wow! This is really much more difficult than I expected. Alright, <laughs> I really didn't expect to disassemble the whole thing. Uh, one of these days I'm going to have to take the engine out just to replace a chain guard or something like that, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll follow the instructions and uh, maybe we only have time to fit the screen uh, this morning, but let's see how it goes. So let's get started. I have the camera on a tripod and I'm reading the instructions here. Uh, there's not much to read actually, it's just pictures. You know what, I'm going to get a part and I'm going to figure out what needs to be done. Because they tell me to remove this black part, you see. But this one stays, which is, they tell me to remove these bolts. But then on the next picture, this part is there. So why would I remove these bolts if I'm not removing these? And the place where I need to screw this in is here. So maybe I need to remove for excess, but then why is it showing in the picture? I don't understand. So I'll try to figure out what I need to do, and then I'll figure out if I have to remove these two, because there's only a few pictures on the instructions. They have here the whole headlight disassembled, but then on the next step, the back casing is still there. You see? So let me first try and figure out what this is. Alright, so I've been looking at the instructions. I don't think I need to remove any of these. The bolts that I need to put in are very short and I think I can put them by hand and then um, get the Allen wrench in there and, get, and do the final tightening. So I will try to assemble them without removing these. Let's see if that works or not. So these are the bolts we need to put in there. So they need to go in this one here, this one and then the other one down there. And I certainly have room to put them on by hand. I don't know if I have room to get an Allen wrench to tighten them. But uninstalling this whole thing just because of that is something that I'm only willing to try after I try without uninstalling. So these are the mounts, right, for the screen. We have to put this end, I guess, there, right. So it needs to be installed here and then it looks like this. 
and then we put these rubber mounts on these big holes on the on the on the metal mount. Won't focus. And then the kit also comes with four plastic screws to screw the screen onto these rubber mounts. So let's try and install without removing the things. I'll try to get a fairly good angle. It's not easy. My tripod is very small. But we'll see. So I'll, st I'll try to install by hand first. And without glue, because I just want to see if I can do it. Or if I really need to remove the light case. This thing, I don't know if you can see, this thing is really on the way for this bolt on the top. Let me try and get it again. So let me try and install with the wrench, because uh, I can have an easier reach. Yeah, there we go. You see, when it, when it goes a little bit in, then you get enough room because this thing is then out of the way, and you can twist your fingers and get it in. Now I didn't put the glue, so <laughs> I'll have to remove this. But let me tell you guys. For now, I think you don't need to remove the light structure. Okay, so we're going to put a little drop of glue here this this is enough and let's screw this thing back in I really sound like I know what I'm talking about, right? So this one is tight, the one at the bottom, yeah, I, you know what, I don't have room to tighten the bottom screw. Now I cannot get this wrench in to tighten it, I've tightened it as much as I can with with the hands and I'll try to get some kind of tweezers to do whatever I can um, because of the glue and this doesn't need to be extremely strong I think I'm okay I won't remove this so I'm going to try and finish with this one I don't know how this is called I call it tweezers but I know it's not tweezers it's something that you use on the nails or something like that I don't know English is not my first language as you can probably tell um, yeah, this is going nice. It might not be as tight as the one with the wrench, but it's certainly tighter than what I can do with my hands. And with the glue in there, I am happy with the result. I cannot tighten it anymore with this one. 
this thing's not going anywhere, so I'm happy with it. So that's the end result. This is the top screw and the bottom screw down there. You see? This side has a lot less room because of this. This side has more room, so it might be easier. I think the down one has exactly the same room because of the the problem there is the light assembly but the bottom one certainly has a lot more room so it will be a lot easier which was the problem with this side so let's do the other side it's same procedure oh, yeah this stuff ain't going anywhere so we've installed the two brackets these are the bolts that you need to put in. I did not remove this one again. I will remind you of that. Uh, and also those two screws. So this is nice and in place. And now we basically need to screw the windshield to here. So we put the four rubber thingies in here. And now the last step is to install the screen of course. Take a good look at the screen because this is as clean as it will ever be. <laughs> Um, this is not, it's very dark, so it looks lighter on the camera because there's a lot of light co coming from the outside. But it's very dark, but it's not opaque, it's, uh, it's dark smoked. And basically we have four plastic screws that we need to screw in. Uh, don't over tighten these ones because you might break them. And the reason why they're plastic is exactly so that they can break off. If you have a crash and you hit the screen with your hand or with your body, the idea is to for the screen to break off and not cut into your skin or something like that. So here's a note for you. I've just realized that um, the holes are not fully aligned. That might be on purpose to give some tension to the whole setup, but then basically what you need to do is you insert these screws without screwing them, just put them in and try to squeeze the bracket into place. Don't put much pressure on the screws, put the pressure on the bracket. So what I just did was lose, loosen the top screw on the bracket on this side, on the right side, on the left side, sorry. Um, so I can wiggle the bracket a little bit and then I tightened it back at the end. So these are tightened by hand now, they're all nice and aligned, so I'm going to do the final tightening with the screwdriver. I always use the finger in the back to feel when the screw is coming out from the back. So now I'll go back and re-tighten this last screw on the bracket that I had loosened it. So, done. Alright, so here's the screen. Uh, it looks very light on this camera because, let me see if I can adjust the lighting here. So this is more like it. It's very dark. Uh, because of the type of lighting we have in this garage, it's not really coming out, but it's very dark. It's a small screen as you can see but it should provide some protection a little bit and I think it looks cool 
it's from the side. This is the height or something like that. Yeah. It has a nice XSR logo there. So there you go. This is how you assemble the screen on the XSR 900. Again, I don't think you need to remove any of this thing. As you can see, I did it by hand without removing it. This won't go anywhere, although I didn't get the Allen wrench down there, but I got the, the pliers. So that's uh, very good enough, I would say. And I hope you like. Subscribe because I still have a box full of stuff that I'm going to install. So there are more, coming, more videos coming out. And I also do ride videos and things like that. So if you like, let me know in the comments. If you have any question, I will try to answer. As, I, as far as I can tell you right now, I don't know if it's very effective or not. I haven't ridden yet. I will go out for lunch and I will test it. I will also test the new seat that I installed yesterday. And there's another video there about that. So, and then I will do a video at the end with what I think about all of these mods and if they're working or not. So, again... Uh, Thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye.